Hello everyone, welcome to the video series of measurements and instrumentation. Glad to meet you all in this video series. Now we have come to the eighth session of this video series. So in this video we are going to discuss about the standards and calibration. What is meant by standard? What are the different types of standards we have in a measuring system? And what is meant by calibration and what are the different methods to calibrate a measuring instrument? So first let's see standard. A standard is a physical representation of a unit of a measurement. So standard is also a unit of measurement but the term is applied to a piece of equipment having a known measure of physical quantity. So a standard measurement or a standard is given to a known measure of a physical quantity. For example, while measuring in a known line, I use the standard a scale. So a scale is a standard. If I want to measure an uh, unknown quantity of water, I use a beaker or a measuring jar. So here the measuring jar is a standard. Let's see the different types of standard. So based on the quality of the standard, it is classified as international standard, primary standard, secondary standard and working standards. So international standards are defined based on international agreements. So these different standards are developed for the purpose of checking the other units of measurement and all these standards are preserved at the International Bureau of Weight and Measures at Paris. So international standards are defined and established upon internationally. They are maintained at the International Bureau of Weights and Measures. They are not easily accessible to ordinary peoples like us and they cannot be used by ordinary users for measurements and calibrations. But they are periodically evaluated and checked by absolute measurements in terms of fundamental units of physics. For example, the international ohms. Okay, well, We have ohm as an international unit to measure the resistance of uh, any uh, electrical equipment it is the international ohms is defined as the resistance offered by a column of mercury having a mass of 14.4521 grams uniform cross-sectional area and length of 106.3 centimeter to the flow of constant current at the melting point of ice so international standard gives the most accurate or you can say the true value for any measurement but it is not available to ordinary access and it will be kept at international bureau of weight and measures it is not available to everyone next we will see what is mean by primary standards primary standards are maintained by the national standard laboratory so it has the second highest credit in measuring systems so this primary standards are maintained by nsl which is the national standards library and it, sorry national standard laboratories and it will be maintained by the nsl in different parts of the world the principal function of the primary standard is the calibration and verification of the secondary standards so secondary standard is next to it which is used by the industrial measurement laboratories and those secondary standards will be calib calibrated and verified with this primary standard and these primary standards are calibrated and verified by the international standards they are not calibrated outside the national laboratory for calibrations so they will be calibrated 
against the international standards they are used as ultimate reference standards which gives the high accuracy or absolute standard next comes the secondary standards these standards are basic reference standards used in industrial laboratories for calibration of instruments every industry will have its own secondary standard and maintained by same industry each laboratory will periodically sends its secondary standard to the nsl for calibration and comparison against the primary standards for example if we consider a um, uh, any equipment used in industry or you can say it as a weighing machine which is used in any uh, complexes or any shops those weighing machines are secondary standards and these secondary standards will be periodically sent to the secondary standard to that is the nsl for calibration against the primary standard so then and there they will get the certification from these measuring agencies which is provided by the nsls so these certifications will say that the secondary standard is worthy to be used then working standards working standards are used for general purposes or in day to day use so these are available in general laboratories or in any measurement laboratories so this standard is the primary tool for measurement laboratory so these international standards primary standards are very accurate and gives high precision but they cannot be used everywhere whereas the standards or the measuring devices which we are using are the working standards so this standard may be lower in accuracy in comparison with secondary standard but it is used to check and calibrate laboratory instruments for accuracy and purposes next we will see what is mean by calibration so calibration when we talk about standards the next terms that comes into our mind is calibration what is mean by calibration so calibration is the process of checking the accuracy of instrument by comparing the instrument reading with a standard or against a similar meter of known accuracy so calibration means comparing the instrument reading or any measuring instrument reading with a standard measuring instrument and the deviations will be adjusted and that is what we call it as calibration so it involves a comparison process and then the error will be found out and then the accuracy will be checked and then it will be tuned to get fine uh, to get fine results so this calibration will be done as i told it is a comparison process the comparisons will be done against a primary standard or done against a secondary standard or against an instrument of known accuracy next calibration is basically of two types which is primary or absolute method of calibration or secondary or comparison method of calibrations so how we will calibrate an instrument is basically uh using a primary method or using a secondary method which is also called as absolute uh, comparison method so primary calibration is done by comparing the measuring instrument against a primary standard secondary instrument are comparing the calibration against a comparing the instrument against a secondary standards so this secondary standard is again classified as direct comparison method or indirect comparison method so direct comparison method as the name implies the comparison will be done 
in a direct manner that means the result will be given directly so the process of uh, finding the error and accuracy value will be against a secondary standard which is called as the direct comparison method whereas instead of comparing with it uh, with the secondary standard if we compare it with an industrial uh, standard or with some uh, uh, measuring instrument available at any normal measuring laboratories then it is called as indirect comparison method of calibrations so yes direct comparison method is with a known input source means then it is primary calibrations so if we compare it for example direct comparison method means as i already told it is comparing directly with the secondary calibration instrument if we compare it against two different devices which gives a same equivalent result and then then it is called as indirect comparison method of calibration so in today's video we have discussed about what is mainly standard what are the different types of standards we have and why it is being used and then we have seen about what is mean by calibration and what are the different methods we can calibrate an equipment or a measuring instrument hope this video gives a clear explanation or clear understanding about standards and calibrations we'll meet in the next video with an upcoming topic thank you